But look, there's a lot of saved preachers, and there's a lot of saved uh, churchgoers. They go and they kick, they get kicked out of churches, and they get shunned from their church members because they believe differently, or they they start to understand the Bible, and they believe that you know it's post tribulation, or that there's a reprobate doctrine, or that um, you know. What are the other doctrines that, that we deal with? You know, the reprobate doctrine, the post-tribulation, uh, you know, the replacement theology, all these things that you can find in the Bible. It, people get kicked out of churches. Their friends and family stop talking to them. You know, I've met numerous of them. You know, what's funny is I'll come to Pastor Cobb and I'm like, look, because he's my biblical, he's the, 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 the head pastor of this church. And I'll come to him and I'm like, Pastor, you know, I just want to let you know I'm doing this or I'm going to go to this trip. And I'm gonna be dealing. I'm gonna be in this in this seminar with these pastors, and they're gonna be preaching about this stuff. Or you know, I'm I'm studying this, or I believe this, and and I keep waiting because I hear all these stories of him telling me, oh, you know, I keep waiting for this negative response. I'm like ready. It's like the first time you shoot a gun. You know, when you're little, you learn to to shoot like this, right? Because you're playing. But when you shoot a gun, you just pull the trigger. You shouldn't anticipate because the bullet will go anywhere. So I keep anticipating what's not there. But that's because Pastor Cobb is biblical in his teachings, right? That tells me some about these other pastors and these other churches. They're not following the Word of God. They're following their ego. They're not greatest amongst us, the saved. They're greatest amongst themselves. They're champions. They're not servants. They're not victorious in the Word of God. They're just seeking their own pleasures. They're, they're men pleasers. They're out there for selfish reasons, for filthy lucre's sake, the Bible tells us.